Hi, and welcome to Magic Uncut. My name's Graham. Behind the camera, we have Lee. Say hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. Lee, ask me a question about magic. Do you know any tricks with animals? Tricks with animals? I know a trick with a dog, even though it doesn't use a dog. That's a bit strange. Right, before I show you this trick, though, I want you to notice that I've taken two cards out of the deck. I've taken the aces. Okay, and I'm going to put them there. And I've got a cufflinks box here. Now, this belonged to me great uncle Charlie, and he inspired me to do a lot of the magic that I do. But he didn't use to keep his cufflinks in it. Inside, he's got, which is a bit of a gambler, he's got a bone dice, his lucky penny, what he used to use in pitch and toss, and there's a folded playing card, which was his lucky playing card. Now, that's not the original lucky playing card. I've lost that. But the value's the same. And if he ever got that card in a game of brag, he would gamble on that hand, even if it was a bad hand, right? So we've got these two things. Now I'm going to show you the trick that uses cards and an animal or a dog, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cards, I'm going to shuffle them up. I want you to tell me when to stop. Stop. There, we'll cut the deck there. That's the seven of clubs. We'll take the next one. Ah, brilliant card. Nice, lots of white. Right, can you do me a favour? On the five of hearts, draw a dog. And I know your hands are a little bit tied up because <laughs> he's got to have some ears and eye. Right, okay then. Right, okay. Um, a stick dog, yeah. Uh, now, I know it's hard to tell whether a stick dog's male or female, but is that a little boy or a little girl? Boy. Little boy. I can just see, see the remnants of a little tadger there, so a little tadger, so it looks like a little boy. Right, okay. Then. So we'll take your stick dog, and we're going to train the stick dog. I'm going to put it into the centre of the deck. I'm going to give the deck a couple of cuts like that, and I'm going to give the deck a shuffle like that. Okay. Now, he's only a puppy. And he's very, very scared to be inside the deck, right? At the moment, on top, is the Jack of Spades, right? Can you shout, here, boy? Here, boy. As soon as you shout, here, boy, he jumps to the top, right? Because he's wanting to come and be friends with you. Now, watch. I'll push him in about halfway down the deck, okay? Just shout, here, boy. Here, boy. As soon as you shout, here, boy, he jumps back to the top of the deck. Look, at. I'll put him about there, right? Okay? Yeah. Give a little click, and guess what? Straight back to the top. I'll put him on the bottom of the deck. Just shout here, boy. Here, yeah, boy. There you go. And he jumps back to the top of the deck. This is how you train a puppy, right? Okay. Now, I'm going to take him and I'm going to put him in the middle of the deck, right? And I'm going to take the deck. I'm going to give it a shuffle, face up, and I'm going to give the deck. Now, the next trick involves the two aces, which I want you to imagine are flaming hoops of fire. Right? So, because it's a dangerous trick, give him a name. Bob. Bob. Bob Bob the dog. Right, okay then. Now, we've got two aces. Which is your favourite? Hearts or diamonds? Diamonds. Diamonds. So, I'll put that on the top, okay? Now, watch. Just shout. Here, Bob. Here, yeah, Bob. And look at that. He jumps straight up between the flaming hoops of fire. And that's how to train your dog, okay? Now, I'm going to take Bob and we're going to do one last little training exercise. And this time, it is very, 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 very dangerous, right? So, I'm going to shuffle him in like that. Right. Can you remember the uh, box yeah. with the card? If that card is a five of hearts, would that be amazing? Yeah. Now, take the lid off. Right. Can you see the, the cards and the thing in there? Yeah. I'm going to tip them all out. I'm going to take the coin and I'm going to take the thing. This is, if this is a five of hearts, it would be amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah. But I said this was his amazing card trick. This is Bob's amazing card trick. Because these puppies get everywhere. And this card is not just the five of hearts. It's your five of hearts with your little drawing of stick, stick dog Bob on there. And that's an amazing trick from, taught to me by my great uncle Charlie.